Hey Floss Tube, this is Lori of Mischievous Stitches and Jacob. Are we popping in just to say hello? Uh, I made an Instagram post yesterday or the day before. We Jacob's been home for about a week now and we got up yesterday morning and played Uno and Yahtzee for a few hours. Um, and there were lots of comments. Everyone wanted to check in with him, see how he was doing. To ha Had a few questions too. They wanted to know how how you liked Italy, how things were there. Yeah. It's a nice country. It's cool to travel and whatnot. But where nothing all like you, being home. Where all have you been there? It was Florence, Rome. Uh, well, I didn't realize you'd been to Rome. Uh, Venice. Uh, Lake Barsus. Is that how you say it? Barches. Barches? That's right. Crystal clear lake right there. It's right in, in the mountains. Middle of the mountains. Got what that mountain range is called. It's not the Andes, it's the, it's not the Himalayas either. It's the, you gonna dig in your ear? It's the, <laughs> what is those mountains called? I don't, I don't remember, but those mountains. What is your favorite place? What's your favorite place that you've visited there? Because you've been to Florence more than once, haven't you? Florence is a nice place. Is it? Yeah. A lot of people say that's the best city in Europe. Really? For and real? so far, of what of the few that you've seen, and do you agree with them? Yeah, I like Florence. So, how's the food there? See, see, cleaner I'm, than here. I wouldn't say better than here, but it's healthier than here. Is it? What do you mean by healthy? They don't use all that fake stuff. Like even the McDonald's there is good food. It's just not. They don't use all of those like preservatives and all that. Like I, when I got back here, I was throwing up off the food. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he got home and got jet lag really bad. Yeah, it was rough. Yeah, and so... Two days, couldn't move, couldn't... <laughs> I'd sit up and throw up. And I don't know what was going on. Well, I, of course, it threw his equilibrium off. And the first place that he wanted to eat was a place we have. I think it's just in the southeast, and it may be throughout the states, but a place called Zaxby's. And he was really looking forward to it. And so we picked him up from the airport, and we get into town and stop for Zach at Zaxby's for dinner and a, a, one of his best buddies uh, rode to the airport with us so he was with us and I figured those guys would be over for several hours that night and they were here 15 minutes and they're out the door and I said Jacob where's your buddy and he said you know buddies and he said well I don't feel good and for two days two and a half days he was just ill and so I asked him yesterday, do you want to go get Zach's piece of day? And he says, uh, no, <laughs> absolutely no. Yeah. So, um, Can't what did take you? take medicine or nothing. Yeah. But he's light as rain Covered now. Covered off those mama's sausage cheese <laughs> croissants. <laughs> so what Save did you life. miss from home? Food. But what? <laughs> but what did you miss from home? Home cooked food. What did you miss? Mm, what did I miss from home cooked food? Like, what did you ask me for? everything <laughs> what didn't I ask you for <laughs> he's wanted to hit a couple of the restaurants here but he asked for he asked for homemade cream corn and you know like he says we don't do well at home we do eat out but we try to cook more why do I guess you would call home cooking so it's corn on the cob not in the off the cob not out of the can cream corn and so he's asked for that which he's not gotten yet but he's Alfredo Sausage we made homemade. Sauce. Yeah, he comes home to eat Alfredo, homemade Alfredo. I eat it over there too, but it's, just, <laughs> it's not the same. And then you wanted stir fry. So chocolate desire or it's delight. <laughs> chocolate delight. And he calls it chocolate desire. So that was a, a dessert made with chocolate pudding. We made that. I made the Alfredo. She didn't yeah, make it. Yeah, did. Yeah. yeah. I'm a chef. Chef Boy RD. Mm -hmm. little, little Carly. It's like little Debbie, but. I'm a little Carly. <laughs> yeah, he was in the kitchen making, helping. He always did help me in the kitchen. I kind of missed that. I'm a chef. Yeah, it was a way when he was younger for me to, um, he would swear that everything that I fixed had onions in it, so he would not want to eat. And it was a way for me to show him there were no onions and things, so the more he helped me, the more he was willing to expand what he eats. But now he eats a lot more than you did when you left home, I think. I'm a, I'm a growing tongue, you know. Eat the salsa a now. Growing tongue. There you go. Now, when you're a kid, you dip it salsa in there and you leave all the chunks in there. Now you just 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't do that. I still don't like salsa, but that's the saying, you know, grow and tell me. So you're going to go back at the end of the month, and how much longer will you be in Italy? Until April 2020. Oh, I thought it was going to be a little bit longer than that. It's like next year, let's say a year. You mean I'll probably come back again, eventually. I still have 30-something days. Yeah, I'll but I thought you stuff. had to wait a little while before you could take a long leave like this time. Well, no. I can go back and put it in again. <laughs> <laughs> and my husband, Clint, is actually on the other side of the iPad. I asked him to be be quiet because you never know when those slick tongues yeah he'll slip he's about one to get in beat putt putt too like he did yesterday oh yeah jacob's <laughs> uncle and um a couple of his buddies were all going to go play putt putt a little later and they played yesterday afternoon second and, place to a yeah. guy that actually plays golf oh yeah and my husband you know he always wins even though he loses and if he loses he still wins but there's excuses as to why he lost you know how he goes. Cheats. he's looking at me right now i'm getting a stink eye but we <laughs> yeah playing, he's a we big playing cheater with nicknames, and he blames it on the nicknames yeah because he didn't I don't know, know how he lost because of nicknames but that's what he says happened <laughs> so they've they've had a good time the two of them together so it, it's been nice to Gotta alleviate have, some of that stress off my mom my mom don't make fun of him, so I make fun of him for her. <laughs> I <laughs> she, make fun of him. You just don't hear it. <laughs> um, can't think of anything else. Had to I buy just clothes. Much, yeah. Why did you have to buy clothes? I found that interesting too. Because I'm a big man. Jacob is. A big man. Six six, and and he wears. Two twenty. Extra large. Um, <laughs> so. He wears a 15 shoe, and he can't get shoes there. He's, what, what did you say? Them. You wear, a, what, 49 in Europe. European shoes? They, did they, they call it European? <laughs> but they, what, was the, what was the largest they said they could get? Like 42. 42. So he come home, and our, it's a funny story. We get to the airport, and there's a, a road, there's a fork, and one road goes to baggage claim, and another goes to just to the airport it's a small airport here in our state it's in columbia and my husband takes the wrong fork and jacob had said he was at the baggage claim so anyway i make my husband stop <laughs> he didn't stop he wasn't stopped and i was getting out of the car and he's he's fussing i'm like my boy is not there he's in baggage claim and i'm not waiting on you to park <laughs> so i jump out of the car and I go downstairs and I find at the baggage claim and I found find Jacob and I could tell his shoes did not fit. Your slides were too, and that's where I found all that out. I had no idea because he's got a closet full of shoes. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you didn't ask. I think we've we've sent him a couple pair, haven't we, Clint? Yeah, we sent him two. Yeah, we've sent him some shoes through the mail, but um, his slides were what 13s. size are they? They're thirteens, and so he wears fifteens. And so anyway, I just found that interesting. I don't have any I guess the stat are they just a smaller in stature the people mm -hmm. the average person is just shorter because I mean you're above average really for a man for an American is what I meant but yes they took, you they, are above average for her and my other sisters destroyed my other slides that I had that were size 15 so I couldn't bring them her and the dog uh, we had a dog yeah. that chewed the back of one of them off and they still yeah. wore them I don't yeah. even know where they're at I think your older sister took those yeah, those, I, my slides and I barely wore them. But so when I pick him up at the baggage claim, he has a duffel bag that, you know, I want to help him with it, and, I, and I'm thinking he's going to have multiple bags, and he's got one bag and it's really empty, and that's what I asked. Where are your clothes? You know, I'm thinking he's going to bring maybe a uniform, and then just his clothes, and he has the clothes he has on in what? Maybe one or two outfits. And, and I said, why? And he said, I planned, he planned on buying clothes here. So we went, he bought an outfit today. We were out and he bought a couple outfits last weekend. So he's, penny or belt or whatever yeah. It was. Ooh. Yeah. So you, you actually buy on base too though, can't you? Or do you don't have your mm -hmm. sizes there either? They do. They don't have my shoe size. But they have your clothes size yeah. and you just want it. So why did you wait to come home to buy? Is, is there a reason? Is it cheaper or is it? Just There's a better selection? Options. Okay. Okay. So you can't order from like Amazon there on base? You can, can't you? Because you don't have to pay international shipping, right? 
But why don't you? you? Just don't think about it. There's like a special section when you go to order stuff for APO. It's uh, military overseas. Oh, uh, so you're limited as to what you can buy. No, it's just like that's a setting. Like oh, you know okay. how you select your state. If you like keep scrolling down at the very top, it's APO, APE, something, 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 something. I didn't so know armed that. forces Europe, armed forces whatever. So it's just a special address. You, I don't think you can get two day shipping, but it's still like a week. I guess in a week it'll be there. So you plan on um, in April? You plan on staying in Italy? I think that they had asked you to stay there, but you're not wanting to go. Where are you wanting to go from there? Where do you plan on putting in for it? Doesn't mean you're gonna go there, but Japan, Hawaii, United Kingdom, Didn't Southeast they? US, Alaska. So it really doesn't matter. You're Alaska just wanting would to be fun. It'll be cold. I was talking to a dude the other day and he said it's besides like well it depends on which base you get, but the bottom half it says seventy almost year round, it gets cold for maybe a month. He said. I mean, but I mean, you gotta do this. You gotta do the six months of. It's, I don't think it's at the bottom of Alaska. I don't think it's six months of darkness, but it's like four, three something. So but get to see the northern lights. There's right, pulled, right. the base shuts down because bears walk on it. Really. Mm -hmm. And he said it's cool there. So what? What? As far as your job, you're gonna stay in the same job, or do you mm. have okay. goals above? I thought you had goals above that, don't you? Yeah. Well, I can't yeah. do it till. Four year mark. Okay. So he's I've been in two years ish. You just see, it doesn't October. even seem like that at all. So he graduated in June and in October he left and has been in the military ever, ever since. So you've been gone for what, 15 months now? Yeah, 15 going on 16 months that he's been gone. And it just, it just, it's flown by and at the same time it, it hasn't, if that makes sense. I just, I mean, we've really missed having him here, but we can tell the changes. It's little subtle changes. I mean, of course, he's grown and he's matured, and um, Negative. Yeah. <laughs> but we can we can tell the changes. But it has been wonderful having him home. So I took off the rest of this week and all of next week to be with Jacob, and we'll get together with. Um, we've already got together with his. Had a couple of family cookouts and gotten dinner with family and. We're going out of town tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to do a quick vacation and maybe an, a beach trip, too, before I go back to work. And it'll be here. His time for him to leave will be here before I know it. Coming out, too. So, as far as stitching, because you're here, uh, most of you are here for the stitching, I did get a chance to go last weekend to Sassy Jack Stitchery in North Carolina. Um, and I was was there with Jen from Felicity Stitches. Hey Jen, uh, we saw, we took the Abathia class with, um, like I said, Nicola Parkman. And of course, Sassy Jack's is an amazing shop. So I did a little stashing while I was there and I was gonna let Jacob, you guys got a kick last time he was on and, and his um, opinions of what my samplers look like. So I thought I would let him hold them up when I show you what I got. But um, if you've never taken a class with Nick Lava, I know she's only did a couple like last year and then this year. And I think she's on her way home now, but I think she comes back. I'm going to say this time next year she's coming back or she may be coming back at the end of this year. I'm not sure. But check, I know she has a Facebook page and she's active there, so check it out there. But she's an amazing teacher. And this was a two-day class. Gosh, it seems like it's been two weeks, three weeks since I took the class, and it hasn't. And, um, but she's an amazing, she'll take the time to make sure you understand what she's trying to teach you, because the Abathia sampler was all specialty stitches, and I thought that I had experience with a lot of them, and there are, there are ones on that, sam that, that band sampler that I have no experience with at all. And the first day of class, I kind of got flustered with a couple of them. And, I, and it, you know, she's teaching you one, and you're working on a doodle cloth, and you want, move from one stitch, and she gives you plenty of time, and will walk you through it, but then it's the next stitch, and, and I got stumbled on one, and I'm one that likes to stop and think and work, and I just couldn't get past the one, 
and by then like two stitches down um, I'm learning another one that I've not done before so did I get a lot done in class no did I have a great time absolutely Jen is hysterical and we just had a good time but I can't wait to get into the class not the class but the kit and take my time and really learn um, and she does you do have access to videos um, just as we did in class to help you learn the stitches but I'm going to show you um, the actual kit and Gary from Fiber Talk, Talk was there and he gave us gifted us all with these needle minders uh, but this is how the class was packaged so we come in and and this was here you did have to bring a stand with you um, and my stand did not work on the table in the classroom and the classroom was amazing it's right above um, Kimberly, the owner of Sassy Jacks, is right next door to a quilt shop, and so there's a doorway that opens between the two shops. And so the upstairs portion of that, that old, those two old stores is where they have restored it and made it into a classroom that they each, um, I guess you would just say share between their shops for their classes, and that's where it was held. It was lighted very well. Um, I did not need a light at all, and... My eyes are not the best. I thought it was perfect. It was plenty of space. Kimberly had brought a lot of things upstairs and put them on a pegboard for us so we didn't have to walk downstairs to look at Nicola's other samplers. Um, there were models that were there. But anyway, it was just really nice. Um, we had access to restrooms pretty easily. Just wonderful shop. So anyway, I'm going to show you what's inside. Or I'll let Jacob show you, I guess. If you want to. We got, this is a, um, she gave us all a, you want to hold that? You know what that is? A purse. It's not, a, close. It's a project bag. So we all got that project bag. And it has a little squirrel on it, which is the symbol for Sassy Jacks. And then this is my doodle cloth. Doodle cloth. That's what it is. <laughs> it's where you practice your stitches. A doodle cloth. And you can see I didn't get very far. And I started off, the first thing I started was the B. And I stitched, as you can tell, the, the B, the top portion is, the, my fingers are really dirty. I've been out in the dirt this morning already planning, so I'll get that taken care of. But anyway, so my B is a little longer than it was supposed to be. And so instead of ripping all that out, because we moved on to another stitch, I just flipped my fabric like this and started stitching. And then I realized, of course, there's no margin to do the other stitches below it. So then I flipped it back. <laughs> and these are, but all of these are different stitches that's within the class. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that I worked on and there were others on the other side I didn't even get to. So this is the thread card that was provided with the class kit too and of course it's a picture of a portion of Abathia and it's silk threads and we got a a stitch dot from a motif in this actual sampler that come with it. You can, hold, you can hold that up if you want. Stitch dot. Yeah, it's a magnet that we use to park our needle on because it's a magnet that holds the needle because needles are what we lose often as stitchers. And of course, this is the workshop piece. And of course, it looks just like the sampler. The sampler's a lot thicker. But there's information, of course, in the workshop. Um, that's all. The, that's everything to do with Ibathia. Is that it? So there's this. We got a, a, a Sassy Jacks pin. A ruler. Now, this is spe special too. It's a four inch ruler. And we use that as stitchers to measure in from the side of the fabric because we want to start at least three, well, me, three inches. Some people do two, some people do one, but you want to start in from the margin of your fabric so you measure to know where to start with your needle. you got to give yourself um, room. And I chose to do the silks. 
I can, I've only stitched with stilts a couple of times and once was with Shepherd's Bush kit. So I've held off from stitching with silks because I know that's a deep dark hole I didn't want to go down into because I have all this DMC. And then we got a little notebook and of course I've got a few notes in here but it's really neat because it's with gridded paper. But this is a, also a, um, a picture of the sampler and then of course I've got 40 count fabric and uh, that was what was in the kit. And it was packaged up really nice with tissue paper. Um, Kimberly did an awesome job. She was a great hostess. And I did meet a few ladies that watch. I've met a few ladies that I watch. Um, and one of the special ones that I finally got a chance to meet, not any more special than the others, but is Ellen Chester from With My Needle. And this was a sweet gift from Ellen, a uh, token of friendship. So, um, she doesn't do videos, but she's very active. Can you hold that for me? She's very active on Instagram, very friendly. Uh, just, Ellen, I just love you to death. <laughs> and she was there with her friend Elizabeth, and they, um, they seemed to have a great time at the, at the, um, workshop as well. I think everybody did. I have heard nothing but good things from my other classmates and this is my second class with Nicola and I just, I love her. I love the, her samplers and I actually grabbed another one. What do you think about that one? This one? Mm -hmm. That's a lot. That'll keep a long time. Mm-hmm. And here's it fitted up Lord. with the fabric and the threads and it silks again. Now she did get the Hanks in the second day after I had already gotten this one. But she had the original. Nicola had brought, or either I don't know whether Kimberly just happened to have it in her shop. Um, but this piece the, was very, very small. And I think Nicola stitched it on 46 count. But the young girl who actually stitched it, stitched it on 80 count fabric. They think it was stitched on bed linens. Could you imagine? It's all I can do to struggle. This is, will be my first piece of 46 count. I've never stitched on 46 count. So that, this is going to be my first stab at that. But I could ima imagine, I mean, look at the weave, how small that is compared to my filthy finger. Can you imagine 80 count with no magnification and lights like we have now? So there's that. Let's see what Jacob thinks about these other things. Okay. I'm going to show that one. This one's Chris, Christian Geisinger. I, I hope I'm saying that right. 1839. And they believe this was stitched by a little boy. And it was stitched. They had the model there and it's stitched in wools. And I meant to kit that up, and I just didn't get around to it. But it was released this year. It's by Victorian Rose Needle Needle Art. What do you think about that one? Could you imagine yourself stitching something like that? Could you imagine yourself stitching? Yeah. No? Why? I don't have no patience. Okay. You can look at my little pottery things, and you know, I ain't got no <laughs> patience. I painted two times in maybe six different colors. I used the same color. I don't know if uh, there's some little pop-up places here that are ceramics places so that you can go in and with a girlfriend or for an afternoon and you can paint a plate or I don't know a toothbrush holder or penny bank piggy yeah, bank piggy bank penny bank. yeah penny penny bank that's what it is <laughs> um, and we would go there with I would go with my girls when we were younger I they was, were younger I was, I was young. younger and Jacob would go too and. Yeah, he's got some real masterpieces. Yeah, I got a basketball that... Yeah. <laughs> Roughly a basketball. Okay, here's another one. This is Lucy... Snushow. <laughs> Snushel. What do you think about that one? This one looks about the, like the easier one. Easiest one so far. It says, A little health, a little wealth, a little house and freedom. 
And at the end, a little friend, a little calls to need him. Blue Lucy Schuschel. Show the back. That's the original on the back. I always tend to like the originals best. And I know um, from the models that of Nicholas samplers that were there at Sassy Jack's, it looks like she tends to reproduce hers using the original colors after she, you know, opens it up and unframes it and looks on the back of a sampler. And I really like the, the washed out colors. Okay, this is one more. This is Miss another um, Nicola Parkman, Hands Across the Sea Sampler. This is Miss Mary Ann Bannister. Is that it? I think it's, that's what it is. No, Mary Ann Bournes, 1791. And I held off with this one until I saw the model on the wall. And it's on a darker linen than this. But she, turn it around and see the linen I chose. This is the linen I chose. You know what? I, I need to open it up because I'm showing them and I didn't pay attention. I don't have the fabric color. It is 46 count weeks par parchment. What do you think about that one? It looks like a video game place. What like, do you mean? Like Zelda, where you go fight a, fight a boss right here. You know what that is? An igloo. It is not an igloo. That is an igloo. What do you see there? Look close. That's a, that's a jungle igloo. <laughs> it's not an igloo. What do you see beneath it? A river. What, that is not, turn it around so they can see it. That is not a river. What else? What do you see right be, be, beneath animals. the door? What kind of animals? A squirrel. No. Those are bees. That is called a bee skep. It's like a temple. <laughs> it is. It's mm -hmm. a bee temple. It's like a There's ancient, a queen in that temple. An ancient Mayan temple. <laughs> it does. Indiana <laughs> Jones temple. So you got the, that's Indiana Jones and he's running away down the bridge with the crystal skull. <laughs> what is that at the bottom then? That's his home. This is like a... What's in his he yard? started here and then the movie goes and this is all the movie. That's the climax. I'm not following you there. And that's him running. You you le you left me back at the temple. He's gonna jump and then jump and okay. then come back. Okay. <laughs> okay. What is that? That's needles. And I picked up this one too. This is um, a study in blue by Sue Hillis. And I've seen some of you uh, working on this. And I picked up. This isn't the call for colors. It's very similar to the call for colors, but I got Dinky Dyes Charcoal. Dinky Dyes. Dinky Dyes. That's a brand of silk. Feel that. Now that's silk threads. What do you think about that? And like your 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 shirt is cotton. Can you tell the difference between the feel of it? Soft. Mm-hmm. That's why we like it. That's my phone. I got a new phone and I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm not used to the noises. I'll check it later. And I bought these last year when Clint and I went to Jekyll Island. We took a trip down to Jacksonville to the shop down there, Jacksonville, Florida. And I picked up some of these tulip needles and they're Hiroshima needles. I really like these. So I picked up one more container of these. Um, and I think Jen did too. I introduced her to them, and I think she went home with 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 a few. And I think she really likes those Pat Carson needles, right? Okay, what else did I get? I think that's it. No, I got a couple other needle minders. Um, when I was there, I kitted up. Oh, there was another one I kitted up. This is a stitch dot from one of um, Kimberly from Sassy Jacks. I think she calls those. Sassafras samplers. She did a Quaker sampler reproduction that she carries in her shop. And I don't know if she sells it out. I mean, I don't know if anyone else carries it, but she has it in her shop. And I don't have it down here with me. But Jen and I both bought it and started it while we were there. And for kitting it up, Kimberly gave us the stitch dots. And of course, I kitted up Miss Salt, Harriet Salt. 
and so she gave us the stitch dot for that too and I thought that was really great because we all know that, that kitting things up it can be expensive um, but little incentive with her giving us those dots and of course this is a little business card that she stuck inside of our bag at checkout and of course it is a three inch card and I love that too and the only other thing I got while I was there was she had a few of the Week Style Wars wools. And I bought this and a piece of velvet to make a few straw, uh, make a strawberry or two. So that was nice. And has anyone seen my Stitch Mojo? Because I've lost it. I just have not been stitching very much. I have been crocheting. My daughter Chelsea asked me for a few dish rags. So I have... Um, made four of those for her, which then Clint tells me, well, I can't do one for Chelsea and not for Jordan, so I did four more for Jordan, and um, forgotten about. he doesn't need a dish rag. Excuse do you me. need a dish rag? I will be happy to make you a few dish rags. I mean, it wouldn't hurt. You really do want a dish rag? Are you kidding? I'm just saying, I'd be forgotten about. Uh, Youngest you child never, problems. You're never forgotten about. So anyway, I picked this one back up last night. This is the Rose Quaker. What do you think about that? How big is it? It's, it's going to be much of, bigger. Got a lot of fabric going on there. And I was sitting out here last yesterday. We it, we've had rain for what a week, a whole week. <clears throat> and it was a steady rain, which isn't uncommon in June. Stop. Let's care. I don't care. I can't. So we've had pretty con like he said consistent rain which is not uncommon in June but yesterday was the first day we had no rain at all and so you can hear that the birds are happy about it we're happy about it but I sat out here I don't think it got over what 81 yesterday Clint I think was the high and I sat out here and stitched Clint, Clint. oh hello hello <laughs> But I think we'll cut you off here. I just wanted to pop in. I may pop in back back next weekend. I have missed you guys. I think just just talking about my stitching might bring my mojo back, I hope. But I've lost it. I can't find it. Um, you got anything else you want to say? You going to pop back in with me next weekend if I, if I do this? It's up to the ladies. It's up to the ladies. <laughs> If y'all want me back, I'll come back. Oh, that's a silly question to ask because mm -hmm. you know they're going to ask. So I got to see it in the comments. You going to read them? Yeah, I'll read a couple. Gonna... I'll like a couple. My name on YouTube is Aflax. So. Aflax. It's, it's, my... <laughs> it's, 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 my, it's my gaming name. So I just, in case I make a YouTube eventually somewhere, I got to have my name. Well, real quick before we go, he does have a nickname here in town from when he was playing football. And my husband and I were looking at some dogs. Someone had some dogs for sale, and we went to look at them. And they had a teenage daughter, which led to, do you know our son, that kind of thing. And she didn't know him. And then all of a sudden, a light bulb goes off, and she said, do you mean Bert? Legend. Yeah. I'm a so, legend. So the team, they didn't call him Jacob. They called him Bert. And tell them what that's short for. Vertical. Jacob's so tall, so they called him Bert, Vertical. Bert, for short. So in town... Uh, 92 inch Vertical. Uh, <laughs> if I jump, you wouldn't see me. I get out uh, the camera. Okay. Uh, really? Yeah. Yeah, really. 92 inch Vertical. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> 92 inches, what is that? Like, 8 foot? About, yeah. Because 8 foot is... Don't hurt yourself. Yeah, it's 96. 96. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. Quick math. Okay. I'm a walking calculator. Oh, that's nice. Thank you there, hon. Quit! <laughs> Any, anyone, anyone want a slightly used husband? Slightly. <laughs> slightly. <laughs> oh, you're saying it's more than slightly? <laughs> well, we're going to leave y'all right here. Thanks for visiting with us. Thanks for all the concern and the questions for Jacob. I really appreciate it. Y'all warm this mom's heart. I've missed you guys. I will try to come back next weekend. Jacob and I will do this again together. Hopefully I'll have some stitching to show you. And probably, um, not. probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I just collect, Clint says. I just collect. <laughs> but have a great a great weekend. Um, enjoy your family. And we'll see you back soon. Widener signing out. <laughs> He's so crazy. Bye.